Let me show you in this video how to go live to YouTube using Ecamm. Things have changed around here in version four. We start now up here with this stream and record section. Make sure everything's turned on for streaming. And then when you come down here to new, this is where we used to see Facebook, YouTube and all of these listed. Uh, we now select a destination. And if you've already set up your destinations as we've done in previous videos, you should have some brought in here already. If not, you're going to click add destination and go to YouTube and put in your channel details. So I've already done this, so I'm gonna click on here and it brings this in now and it's asking me for a title and a description. Let's do this and actually I wanna have a go through this. I've already just written out up here a title. We're actually gonna go live to my channel while we're doing this, why not? And uh, we'll see whether anybody shows up. There's actually quite a strong chance that somebody will arrive. And so this is how I would use this. My title is, this is your theme, this is your title, what people are coming for. And YouTube is a little bit different, really. You can edit this afterwards, but um, you know, initially I would be putting in there live, really. Uh, so actually, let's pop that in at the top of this. Live, I'm recording a new tutorial for Ecamm Academy. You wanna have something in here, think about that. what happens in YouTube rather than Facebook. When we go live on Facebook and you start to make videos over there, they quickly get buried. And although it can work well for, you know, those that are on Facebook to spot that you're on, or, you know, in a short space of time, be able to rewatch those videos, your videos get buried quite quickly. They're not searchable. Now, when we do these lives onto YouTube, it's just like actually posting a video over here and we can get some really good traction and interaction on these lives, either for people joining us live or for people watching in the replay. And so be thinking of titles and topics that would appear in somebody's search results. You know, for this, for instance, we're teaching you here how to go live on YouTube using Ecamm. So if we were recording this as a live rather than a pre-recorded one like I'm doing right now, if I put that in as a title, well, that's still going to appear in people's searches and uh, it'll do as well as a live as it would as a pre-recorded video. Just make sure that you're not you know, we've, we've said about this previously, don't be waffling at the start, get straight to it. If somebody's searching on Google going, how do I go live to YouTube using Ecamm? Here's your video. They don't want to sit and have a countdown and then you going, oh, can you hear me? Oh, hello, John, how are you doing? I haven't heard from you for a while. They don't want all that. So keep that in mind. We've mentioned in previous videos, I've given you tips and just the structure for getting straight into it on your lives. But you can edit around this title and things if maybe you, you start off on a live over here and then you think, actually, let's now just rename it slightly different. Let's use the description to actually go through here and really spell out what we did. We can put chapters into this. So maybe you say, uh, you know, 10 minutes in, I'm going to talk about this first point. 15 minutes in, I'm on the second point. We can actually put chapters afterwards. There's a lot you can do with YouTube. It's a more stable platform as well. I think Facebook can be a bit hit and miss and glitchy. If ever anyone's having problems with their live streams, it's Facebook that they're going. You know, when you look in the groups and the comments coming in, it's always, oh, why is Facebook not doing this? And why is that changed over there? YouTube is consistent. It's a video platform first, and it makes a lot of sense to be streaming to YouTube. You can also get up to 4K on your streams on here as well. In fact, we'll have a go at that on this one and uh, just see that we are set for 4K. Be interesting to see how this copes and comes through. Uh, what else can I tell you about YouTube? Yes, smart TVs. You know, there are a lot more TVs now that have got YouTube built into them. So that might be another cool way that actually someone could be sitting watching it on a TV especially if we've got 4K coming through. It does just seem a better experience, I think. I'd be f safe appointing somebody to watch a YouTube video than sending them to Facebook or to LinkedIn, which is another one that can be a little bit flaky. What I don't like about YouTube is that while the chat can be coming in during the live, when the live finishes and I then turn it into, you know, people are coming to watch the replay, they can still see that chat if I set it to be visible but they can't add into the comments and maybe they see somebody say something and if it were on Facebook, I could kind of reply to their comment or anyone could reply to their comment and say, yeah, I was thinking exactly the same thing or have you tried this? Maybe this is a solution to the question they're asking. It's two separate places that the, the live chat sits in one place and then the comments would be more standard to a, a regular video appear somewhere else. So I find that a bit disjointed. I normally in, on Facebook, 
would go down the comments afterwards and I would just like them, I would reply to them. Yeah, we mentioned this in the multi-streaming video, the, the different places to go, but there's just a few pointers for you if you are and when you are scheduling to YouTube. So we've put a title in, we've put a description in, we want this to be public, we can go unlisted if we want. If we were going unlisted, it would be maybe because we're sending this out as a private link to somebody, to a group of people. Maybe we're running a webinar that we wanted them to register to, and then we can email everyone and say, here's the unlisted link to it. But we're going to go public. And typically, if you're wanting to just grow your reach, then you want to want to put this out publicly. We have a latency option in here. Low is kind of safest. It's allowing for some buffering, some processing to happen but it's, it's how long a delay are we wanting to have going on here. And the shorter that latency, the less of a delay between me saying it and somebody hearing it isn't giving it a chance to have sort of buffered and done its thing. So I think this middle ground of low latency tends to work well. We don't tick made for kids unless my audience are kids. This is not meaning is it safe for kids? It purely means, you know, is my primary audience a group of kids? And it isn't, so I'm not ticking it. And we can go live now and it will just go. And that's what we're going to do. Or if we scheduled it, we would want to put a thumbnail in here and it would hold that. And then it gives people a chance to go, there's my live over there. Click register to get notified for it. And again, that's a link that we can share out. In fact, we will schedule one. Let's do it on here and we'll do it for um, 10 minutes time. And I'm just going to hit schedule on here. Notice as well, it's telling me there that because I'm doing 4K, this is requiring 12.8 megs as an upload speed. I love that Ecamm have built that into this now. Um, and it's given me a green tick because it knows that we've got kind of 500 plus uh, as an upload at the moment. So here it is. It's now in my control panel and I can see that I've got one upcoming live. It also shows me because it's getting close that it now comes into the middle here and I could actually go live now and speed it up if I wanted. Actually, if I, so let's click on this. Let's just show you this one coming up. You've scheduled this normally more than nine minutes ahead. You can click on here and it will say, uh, go to the watch page or copy the watch page URL. I want you to copy this watch page URL. Let's um, paste it in up here. And so you could send this link out to your audience, email it out. Hey, I'm going to be recording a new tutorial for Ecamm. If you want to be part of it, come and join me. We're going to be going live, uh, you know, on Friday or in an hour's time or something. This is just brought in my banner image out of YouTube because I didn't do a thumbnail. Normally, this would be the thumbnail with the topic on. But how cool is this? Look, so it's counting me down. This is not me as the host, but my audience. I've sent this out in an email and they can all tick to say, hey, notify me when this is coming. And even the chat here, the live chat, you could actually start the live chat off in advance. So it's telling me down here, this is my title. This was my description. See, I put that link in there. And so if I put in there, looking forward to this. So people can actually comment in advance of the live. And then when the thing goes live and we're actually going, that will be the first comment that comes in. All right, so that's what happens when we schedule this in. We can, if we wanted to edit it up here and we could change details around, we could cancel it and delete it from here as well. I'm actually going to start this one off early. And it's telling me here again, we got this warning. It did it a minute ago when we just did the Facebook one. Are you sure you want to go live now? Yes, we do. And notice there then, so we're live. And um, if my cursor's over this main window, then I can see what's happening at the top here. I'm going to refresh this down below. And um, so we can see this coming through. It's so this will do a quality. It's not pushing it up to 4K, but there we go. That's where it's coming through on here. Should we do the little test again and see? what this delay is like. I'm going to do live demo mode. So you're now going to be able to see my whole screen here. So this top one is the actual live. Uh, th this is my control panel. This is Ecamm. And then down below here is the feed coming through into uh, YouTube. So um, where do we go with this? So when I hit the start over here, let's just see what this delay is like. And um, we should be able to see that when that suddenly starts down there. I'm going to stop this one.
There we go. So actually, this is an 11 second delay, which is interesting because on Facebook earlier, we'd got a six second delay. Interesting. So again, even more so when I'm talking to you about live streaming and I'm saying to you, and there's a thumbs up, somebody's on and watching. Um, <laughs> let us know if you want to get uh, featured on here. Just pop your name in and um, you will be on the latest version of this tutorial. So this is it. And uh, you're seeing back up here now that um, I can see there are six people on. I can see that there's a thumbs up. Um, comments over here. Hey, um, <laughs> I can't pronounce his name, but well done for coming on here. Now, I'm just going to, we're just playing around. We're just setting up for a new tutorial. So thank you for being my first comment on here. But this is how this goes. So we're here, we're, we're on YouTube. And um, it's noticeable actually with this being in 4K that it feels a bit sticky on me. So maybe there's not a need. Uh, Linda, hey Linda, good to see you. Yeah, this, this feels like I'm kind of stuck in treacle a bit here at the minute on this slow delay. But um, if you're watching on YouTube, it means that you can actually increase this up. And uh, when you go into your settings down here and the quality, you can actually push that up. So. 1440 it's what's given me we're not quite there at 4k but um interesting certainly a very nice sharp image that uh, is coming through and if somebody were watching on a tv definitely pushing up to 4k uh, is really nice so this is what it's like for a viewer uh, watching along down here they can comment in here and um, just bringing that in really. We're seeing the chat. I can up here as well if I want to. This is something that's quite exclusive to YouTube is that I could if I wanted to, if I started getting some troll, uh, you know, hate speech on here, I can actually ban somebody from this control panel. If I, if I spot that they've got a, a whole load of spam comments coming up here, I can actually click this ban button. I'm not gonna do it on Linda, but um, it would ban you from um, posting onto this. So it's actually a really good, powerful way to control this as well. But um, when we're watching on YouTube, there's no delay. Yeah, absolutely. So you're not going to see a delay. I'm seeing the delay because from me saying it, you're hearing it um, several seconds later, 12 seconds later. So it'll be absolutely fine for you. But for me as the host, it's interesting to know that when I ask a question, if I know that it's going to take 12 seconds for you to see it, then it just gives me a bit of time to make sure that I'm not expecting an instant reply. If I suddenly went, so Linda, what are you up to? And then I sat here waiting. I got to know that it's going to take at least 12 seconds for Linda to spot that and then to type something back in and put it back up to me. So it could be a, a 30 second delay there. Again, it's just getting used to it. It's getting comfortable with it. So I tend to ask a question and then carry on and then allow people's um, feedback to come back through. Look at us. We've got 14 people on now. Fantastic. So you guys, uh, if anybody, I'm going to give anybody a chance to just pop your name in here because this is going to be the official tutorial for the new version 4, Ecamm Live. These tutorials are all going to be made live in a few weeks time and uh, if you want to pop your name in there you will appear on the comments and you'll be part of the tutorial but we're going to wrap up in a second i just wanted to demonstrate and show what this is like going live here into youtube and it's great to see you in fact i did even pop a little scrolling ticker along here although that's playing up interesting why is that doing that hey rich good to see you There we go. That's what it should have been doing. Thought we'd play this on here to just let you have a look. Um, good to see you, Rich. So we'll leave it there. We've got a ton of tutorial videos that we're making at the minute. And uh, this is just the one on going live to YouTube. So thank you for joining us on here, Rich, Linda, others of you. And um, look out for the new tutorial coming to YouTube and into the Ecamm Live Academy. And you'll see yourself on there. All right, so I'm gonna say finish on here and uh, always remember to click twice, end broadcast, and there we go. Has it done? It's just finishing doing its thing. Um, awesome.
So there we go. And you can see that down there, it's just finished on YouTube as well. That's going live on the YouTube. We could now go back onto that post, take off the live bit. I'm actually gonna delete it and pull the thing down. Normally I wouldn't do, I would just change that around and uh, yeah, do those things that we mentioned at the start. But there you go, that's going live to YouTube. Would definitely be top of the list for me as a platform to go to. I'm all about YouTube. And I think if, if you can be invested and in putting your energy into YouTube, it makes a lot of sense. You can create playlists that are very very easy for people to come back. You know, you can create this library, for instance, these Ecamm tutorials we make that we put into a playlist and put them on there. If we were putting them on any other platform, they wouldn't get seen and found. So I really encourage you if you're, you know, we're all about trying to grow ourselves, getting seen, found. YouTube, I reckon, is absolutely the platform for that. You'll hear me talking about my YouTube Academy. It's training that we do helping you get going on YouTube. Yeah, there we go. That's how to do this. I'm going to wrap this one up and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.